Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Quixel Bridge will no longer be free in 2025. Yes, that is right, folks. If you don't know what Quixel Bridge is, basically it's a free library of over 18,000 high quality photo scan assets that you can use for your Unreal Engine projects, whether you are creating real time games, movies, or films. You're free to use Quixel Bridge assets in your Unreal Engine projects, commercial or non commercial. However, that is going to completely change next year. That's right, Quixel Bridge will no longer be free. So, why exactly is Epic Games making Quixel a paid product? Well, it all comes down to their announcement back in GDC earlier this year when they announced that they would be releasing a new storefront for selling Unreal Engine assets called Fab. Fab is essentially a one-stop shop for 3D assets for Unreal Engine, UEFN, and other game engines like Godot and Unity. It's supposed to be a permanent replacement of the Unreal Engine marketplace. So basically, it'll be a combination of all of Epic's asset ecosystem. So we'll combine things like Sketchfab, the Unreal Market, place, art station shop, and much more. And it will also be game engine agnostic, which means that you can use it with other game engines like Unity. Now, the reason why this is all relevant is because they will be moving Quixel Bridge to Fab, which means that you will only be able to download Quixel assets through this new storefront on Fab. So now you're probably wondering, when does this take effect? When will Fab be released? And how much longer can you use these free Quixel Megascans assets? Well, they just announced the other day that they will be releasing Fab in October, and they mentioned that when Fab releases, Quixel Megascans will be free to download and claim permanently from October till the end of this year. So starting in 2025, they will charge for the Quixel Megascans library. So yeah, basically when Fab releases in October, you will have to claim each individual Megascan asset if you want to own it permanently. Otherwise, if you don't claim these assets, you will have to pay for them to use them starting next year. So yeah, my thoughts on this and a lot of other people's thoughts on this is that it's only going to hurt a new Unreal Engine user or people who are trying to learn the engine because by next year anyone who is new to the engine will automatically not have access to the free assets that you and me might already have claimed for free and also i think this tweet from unreal sensei also sums up this point perfectly the megascans library being free is a huge reason for new users to pick unreal engine over other engines it simplifies the learning process for unreal engine 5 and uefn you can quickly get up and running creating new amazing environments in unreal and starting in 2020 25, when the library becomes paid, learning Unreal will become more challenging. New users will have to consider the cost of individual assets or rely on a limited section of free resources. This will discourage new Unreal Engine users, and I'm concerned that this will hurt Unreal's growth. So I completely agree with this point because this is only going to make things harder for new Unreal Engine users when virtually all Unreal Engine tutorials on YouTube are currently pointing to this free resource called Quixel Bridge, and in 2025, it's going to not be free to use. Now, people are already upset about this change and are starting to download and claim all the assets from Quixel Bridge. In fact, someone wrote a script that runs through all 18,000 Megascans assets and claims them individually. I'll leave a link to the script in the description below, but it's important to note that claiming the asset on Quixel Bridge is not going to guarantee ownership, nor is it implied that the ownership will be transferred over to the new storefront on Fab. Now, of course, that isn't stopping folks from literally downloading all of the Megascans assets onto their hard drives. I believe the website crashed the other day because so many people were trying to download, but Epic mentioned in their announcement that you will have a grace period to claim these assets in October till the end of the year to own them forever. So hopefully that means that you don't have to download it to your hard drive, but all you have to do is just claim it and then I believe it will just add it to your library. Another point that I want to bring up about this new storefront called Fab is that it will replace the Unreal Engine Marketplace. Now I have no problem with it replacing the current marketplace. My only concern is that will all of the Unreal Engine Marketplace assets be automatically migrated over to Fab? The reason why I ask this is because there are loads of free assets on the Unreal Engine Marketplace that many sellers have completely abandoned and not updated. For example, there's this military web weapon pack that I use a lot in my videos and it was last updated or the last supported version that I was updated to was Unreal Engine 4.27. So my concern is that basically will this asset pack be auto migrated over to the new storefront called Fab? Because if not, there's a lot of these packs that you can still use. They're still compatible with Unreal Engine 5 versions. You just have to, you know, select the most recent compatible version and you can add it to any new version. But yeah, there's basically a lot of these packs that sellers haven't updated. So hopefully these and a 
lot of other assets will just automatically be migrated over to FAB in October. Otherwise, we will lose a lot more free asset resources, which again would just be a huge hit to not only people trying to learn Unreal Engine, but also people who use these assets for tutorials and prototyping and much more. Anyways, I'd like to know your guys' thoughts on this down in the comments down below. Personally, I think Epic is trying to switch up everything now. I mean, they've definitely changed their business strategy. At first, when Fortnite was at its peak, they were buying all these different platforms, things like Sketchfab, ArtStation, Quixel Megascans, and they were offering them as free services. But now it seems like Fortnite maybe has not been as successful or profitable in these last few years. That and, of course, you know, things like the Apple lawsuit. It seems like they changed their business strategy. I mean, we saw them lay off a lot of employees around this time last year. They also changed the Unreal Engine per seat license. So now they're charging for Unreal Engine for people who use films. And now we're seeing that they are going to be charging for Quixel Megascans assets, which was free for the last couple of years. So it really looks like they're moving to a paid business strategy because now that, you know, Fortnite hasn't been as successful as it has the past couple of years, they need to start making some sort of sustainable income for them to move forward as a company, which makes sense, but it just sucks from the user standpoint because obviously we're losing access to all these free assets that otherwise have been free for the past couple of years. Anyways, let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below. Will this decision hurt new Unreal Engine users who are trying to learn the engine? Let me know your thoughts. And yeah, as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.